हेलो एवरीवन यू आर ऑल वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 1188 एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज पावर इन माइक्रोचिप्स एंड सेमीकंडक्टर एंड टुडे ऑन दिस इशू देर इज आई कॉल इट ग्लोबल टेक्निकल वॉर हैज ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड in 2024 i am not talking about gaza and hamas and that war i am talking about technical war in in the world technical or technology war artificial intelligence tool war is going on and many countries are involved and those countries i have divided into two asian countries asian tigers i call them and usa europe here i am talking of semiconductor if you recall in the year 1973 for senior people must be knowing that news there was big shock to america and western countries when the oil exporting countries they put embargo and they stop selling crude oil to america and saudi demanded the payment in their local currency riyal so it was the greatest shock of energy and that sh shaken the whole world of energy crisis so today america has not forgotten that energy in the form of power how western countries and usa suffer today in 2024 again the same situation is coming and america and western countries europeans they are suspecting such type of thing the reason is that today the 90% production of microchips and semiconductor is from taiwan very small country but i call it super power of microchips second country is south korea samsung company then china india so these countries they are producing more than 90% of semiconductor microchips and they are investing they have the capacity to invest up to 500 billion us dollar in the market to manufacture the microchips and the problem comes if you remember in 2022 american speaker third rank after president she visited taiwan just in 2022 and her visit was very much uh, in news and china was very much angry and china uh, put her fighter jets and ships around the taiwan taiwan was surrounded by uh, chinese uh, military armed forces but the visit of speaker nancy she was old lady was for microchips and semiconductor she had the meeting with uh, the head of ceo of the company which is producing microchips i have i am going to mention our companies one by one and after that visit she came and her report she mentioned all those technological problem actually what happened the history goes like that in 1990 uh the european and american also they outsourced their semiconductor and microchip technology to asia and asian countries were sleeping tigers and in 1990 the head of the state of taiwan gave much emphasis and they started working on that 
and it is their hard work their dedication that today they are the super power of semiconductor and microchips in the world i call them uh, this uh, silicon shield of taiwan and what western countries and american what they are afraid because china is always watching china is always claiming that taiwan is the part of china and it should assimilate with china so this is actually the war and in case if they are not ready to assimilate with some political discussion with some table talk then situation may come that china may invade taiwan and once taiwan is going to china china is already having good infrastructure of production of microchips and semiconductors but they cannot match taiwan globally any country cannot match taiwan taiwan is super and many people they don't know this thing that if this uh, taiwan stops exporting microchip and semiconductor there will be total stand still and what happened in 2020 because of covid 19 that, that's why now they are suspecting such type of thing there was short supply of microchips and semiconductors from the asia and american some of the automobile companies they had to shut down and they lay off their workers in michigan thousands of the uh workers lost their job and america lost billions of dollar in trade because of this microchip then they realize that today's power is more than crude oil sometimes they can survive with the alternate source of energy but without microsoft i mean this microchips and semiconductor they cannot survive for one day the reason is that it has taken its shape everywhere in every technology if you are going for robotic if you are going for automation if you are going for artificial intelligence any technology and tool everywhere without microchip tips you cannot do anything the reason is that is all database electronic data and that electronic data and memory and all these chips is all it is uh, stored there is a storage and that storage is in microchips lot of data electronic data lot of memory lot of automation i mean so many electronic activities and we are shifting to battery that is electrical car and silicon is again playing very important role in 90s silicon valley was created in america and today again in 2010 12 the solar panel again silicon played important role and today in the case of semiconductor and microchips again silicon is dominant and on this earth first number goes to oxygen in abundance largest quantity of any element is that is first number goes to oxygen and second number goes to silicon in huge quantity silicon this i mean this planet is called the planet of silicon is silicon planet only thing is a silicon is in combined state sio2 quartz so that quartz is heated up to 1400 degree centigrade it is melted and after melting uh, the wafer is formed and after cooling all the uh, microchips and there all the uh, i mean uh, work is done design is done to make it uh, microchip the other procedure of purifying extracting the silicon is that when oxygen combined with 
carbon. It will be converted into carbon dioxide and silicon will be free. And with that we are getting 99% uh, pure silicon. So this uh, purification of silicon and then converting into uh, thin sheet and wafer is all technology is super in Taiwan. And Taiwan's scientists who established this company, the name of company is TSMC, that is Taiwan's super company of semiconductor and microchip. And the full name of this company is Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company. And it is contributing 15% of GDP of Taiwan. And uh, the 60% of our export is from this company. And this company is supplying globally 90% of semiconductor and micro uh, chips. And this was established in uh, the year 1980s. And in 80s, one gentleman whose name was Xiao Mishi, something like that, he was scientist in America. He was invited by Taiwan government. He came and he established, he became the CEO of this company that is TSMC. And they were dedicated and their hard work is now the superpower of microchips. The other company that is called SMIC in China is producing uh, microchips and that is Semiconductor Manufacturing International uh, Corporation that is the full form of SMIC is also producing uh, microchips and semiconductor. Then South Korea. In South Korea, Samsung company, everybody knows Samsung AC, Samsung R, and Samsung Electronic, uh, LG. Samsung is also on top in terms of electronic, is also producing. And this uh, South Korean Samsung and TSMC, they have combined in 2024 and they are pulling up to 500 billion US dollars in joint venture. That is a big question mark here, the, there is war. And then India is there. One company major is that is SCL, that is called Hindustan Computers Limited. The other company is Vedanta and the third one is Tata Excel. So these are all world companies. They are in Asia and they are contributing to the tune of 500 US dollar in the uh, this micro chips and semiconductor technology. When Americans came to know, they cannot uh, invest this much. Europe cannot invest because America is having the biggest company. It is known as INTL. INTL full form is Integrated Electronics. This is a very old company, electronic company. It was established to my knowledge, in 1923. Then the other company is NVIDIA. It is in California. And that is non-visual desktop access. The other company is uh, that Broadcom is also in California. And only in Europe, which is supplying microchips to European, that is Dutch company. And the company name is ASML, that is Advanced Semiconductor Material uh, Lithography. They are actually involved mainly in photolithography, in a simple term you can say optical lithography or ultraviolet lithography, but they are using silicon sheets. So from that silicon, they are also producing uh, the micro chips. Otherwise, everywhere it is Asia is involved. So now America, they have released, I mean just few months ago, some 80 billion US dollar and Ohio State and that is the company Intel is going to produce up to 300 billion microchips in future. 
and at moment in 2022 uh, the report is given that taiwan successfully produced 1.52 trillion microchips globally exported so there is a huge production by taiwan but they cannot trust asia asian tiger we can say because once china influence is there if it is in the grip of china the taiwan definitely china will be superpower and if in semiconductor china or any asian country super power they will rule the world because all your frequency war what today is going on your missile rocket artificial intelligence their supervision different type of shielding all is done by microchips and semiconductors your digital age digital technologies you can say fuel or energies only and only semiconductors so that's why nowadays there is i call it global war and america has invested uh, release 82 billion dollar to intel but intel is saying the ceo that low it is not enough at least they need 150 billion dollar so they are resourcing and that will be one of the biggest uh company to produce microchips and now they are not interested in storing the crude oil or refined petroleum rather than they are interested in storing to build their capacity that we have one trillion microchips other country might be having 500 billion microchips so that they are self sufficient they want self sufficiency so that uh they are high risk for any global matter because they have already got one shock in 2020 the same type of shock that power shock of semiconductor what it happened in 1973 so with that they are preparing and that's why this type of war is going on again last year another new material is uh we can say manufactured or developed that is called cubic boron arsenate so this boron uh, derivative in cubic structure is going to replace in future the silicon but it may take one decade to decade but another material is already ready and that was in july 2023 mit miss misashitu institute of technology usa uh, has announced that cubic boron arsenide the name of that material is very is boron silicon they are in the same with the cable group uh is cubic boron arsenide means arsenic and boron they are combined and it this material is in cubic form and what they are saying after their test that it is far superior in conducting heat and electricity that's very clear picture i am showing that is silicon uh microchip and that is semiconductor and this is manufacture and this type of uh that is microchips are very much in demand and they are actually today's power in digital age this is your cubic a uh, boron arsenide the new material uh, developed or synthesized by mit that is misashitu institute of technology usa and in future this new material a uh, boron is going to replace silicon because this one is uh, very much efficient and far superior as compared to silicon in terms of conducting heat and electricity this is acro microchip design it is proposed structure of microchip out of that is cubic boron arsenide very new material and lot of research lot of testing is going on and definitely we are expecting that in future this boron is going to replace silicon
so here some tips are there number 1 today microchips and semiconductors are more important than crude oil petroleum today's digital technology is very much dependent on microchips and semiconductors number 2 microchips have big role in today's economy today the biggest producer of microchips is taiwan it is supplying 90% of world's microchips number 3 china can disturb the production of microchips of taiwan which may disturb the global economy and america doesn't want china to become the super power of microchips and uh, semiconductor by capturing taiwan that is the uh, real technology war which is going on is a big game it is trillion dollar uh, marketing and market share number 4 morris chung he is the real father of microchips production in taiwan he was born in 1931 and that was in china that's why china is very angry that chinese born scientist is producing 90% chips in taiwan and this gentleman was trained in america from america he was invited and in 1980s he established the company name is mct number 5 air 2020 automobile industries could not get enough microchips and companies had to close because of short supply of microchips that was in usa and usa lost 200 billion dollar and then only usa realized and is very common saying by american president where is microchip and who is producing microchip He was not before. He was not knowing that from where it is coming. A smooth supply was there when uh, the American in Michigan, American automobile companies, they shut down because of the shortage, short supply of microchips. Then he started asking, who is supplying? Where it is produced? You start producing. That's why uh, just few months ago in Ohio State. uh they have sanctioned 83 billion us dollar and of course it will be around 150 billion and they are going to produce the capacity will be almost uh 300 billion uh, chips per year but of course uh, taiwan is producing in trillions get enough microchip and companies had to close because of short supply of microchips in the uh, Yeah, USA lost two hundred billion dollars. Now the war of microchips is started because of such short supply, and this is the comment: there will be no digital war. There will be no digital war without microchip war. so before i mean stopping this lecture let me give some hint to students in coming years even in 2024 the most important new technologies are in the area of uh, dna sequencing genetic material research also the synthesis of mini brain and how by attaching the small microchip the brain uh, neural networking will be super and how different subject can be taught in a super way that is i mean all with the help of this microchips and then uh, robotic and new uh, technologies of artificial intelligence deep learning all these areas automation 
and they are all connected to microchips and semiconductor. The different type of battery, last, in last lecture I have already mentioned that now there is a nuclear battery and in future our smartphones and electronic devices uh, will be free of any recharging. It will be for 50 years. So lot of new technologies are emerging and why I am delivering this lecture just to make the young generation, especially in Africa, to understand because they don't understand all these things. These new technologies are not coming here. Only product is coming. So when I go through it, then I feel that no, I must share my some little scientific knowledge. So there's new generation, children who are in uh, school or in universities, at least they are familiar with these terms and their importance in future. With this, I will stop. Thank you very much for watching the lecture.